welcome to Friendly AI. I'm your host, Mike Colangelo. I received a lot of criticism last year when I lifted up a little person and screamed carpe diem at the top of my lungs. There was no way of me knowing that it was an open casket ceremony and the little guy was dead. My deepest condolences to Isaac's family. He was the size of a mountain in my heart. After E3, there was a lot of criticism towards The Order 1886. That's right, the game that's not out yet, and gamers are already reviewing it. Some gamers are saying that there's too many quick time events and that will equal uneven gameplay. Others say that the gameplay that was shown or demoed was stale and dry like a camel's pussy. Their words, not mine. I would have said coochie. I'm classy like that. And yes, it's confirmed that the game will have quick time events that will shape the narrative and give you multiple choices whenever it's necessary. So with these multiple choices, like a choose your own adventure book, there's got to be multiple endings, right? Wrong. The developers are going for one ending for everyone. And I'm fine with that. Not all games need multiple endings. Just like all gamers don't need multiple versions of The Last of Us or Tomb Raider. Mark Turndoff from Ready at Dawn had this to say about making one ending for The Order 1886. It's a story-driven linear experience. There are some branches here and there and different ways to do things, but we're trying to tell one story with one compelling ending. He went on to say, We think it's going to blow players away with a seamless integration of filmic and gameplay in one awesome package. I don't know, that sounds like Resident Evil 4. Boy, did that game sure suck. Said no one ever. The Order 1886 is set to come out February 2015 for the PlayStation 4. The setting looks cool, the characters look cool, the weapons and enemies look wicked sexy. You know, maybe we shouldn't overthink it. Maybe we should wait for it to come out before we pass judgment. And maybe, just maybe, we should sit back and let the professionals do their job. Because this is what they do for a living, entertaining critical gamers like myself. Now when the game comes out, and if they mess up and they have our money, then we can bitch and moan. But only then, because if done properly, quick time events are a great way to mesh gameplay and story together, they can go hand in hand, like a hipster in a vintage bicycle. Let me know your thoughts of The Order 1886 in the comments section, please. Stop texting me or sexting. If you'd like to know more info, I'll leave links down below for those of you that have trust issues like myself. <clears throat> hey, you into Twitter? I'm into Twitter too. Why don't you follow me on Twitter? We can tweet and twat all day and night. Hashtag yes homo. And also I'll keep you up to date with gaming news and my videos. Thank you very much for watching. I know I'm hard to look at and my voice makes small dogs vomit, but you know what? If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, endure my bullshit because I ain't gonna stop. And I promise I'll get new posters eventually. Some gamers are claiming that there's too many quick, ugh, this fucking spat all over my modem. It's gonna short circuit soon. Love that movie. Short circuit. Oh, sweaty. If you're offended by this video, please send your complaints to P.O. Box 668, Neighbor of the Beast.